<laughs> so uh, from the players, let's get it to Pep Guardiola himself. We see him this season, no striker. He's winning games and he's comfortable with what the performance his team is putting out. Now, the only person who was supposed to be striking for them had injury in the early stages of uh, the season. That's um, Torres. Currently, it's like the deal has been done. Torres is moving to Barcelona. And up to date, we don't know any striker City is like linking up with. What Pep, what's, what's Pep Guardiola thinking? Allowing a striker to go, even though he's, he's, he's a striker because he's been striking for uh, Spain for a couple of games. And when he came to City, he was striking too. There's an article that I read that was last week, which Pep Guardiola said that the team does not force a player to stay. If you want to stay, that means that you, you want to stay. If you want to go, then they will prepare everything that they can for you to go. I believe uh, Torres wasn't liking the uh, opportunity he was given because he was limited and he was being pushed to produce to the quality I think he believed that he couldn't produce to. Mm -hmm. So he's a good player, all right. He's still young, all right. But I believe he had a lot of challenges and Pep will not give you the guarantee that you will be playing each and every week. He needs to see results from you. And I think that's why he was left to go. He said the club is bigger than any of the players. If you if you want to stay, then you have to push through to show that you really want to stay. If you don't want to, then they will also prepare everything that they can and then let you go. And Paul, you want to say yeah. something? Ask yeah. something to what, what, one thing. One thing I can see uh, about Pep Guardiola's team, which is Man City, is that the team is not like the Barcelona that we used to know, the Real Madrid that we used to know that when you take a player like Messi out of Barcelona, the team cannot play. Or when you take Ronaldo out of or Real Madrid, the team cannot play and score. With Man City, all the players... <laughs> all, all of them, all of them, if one is not there, there's another player to... What, to replace. Yeah, or to replace. So the mentality of Pep Guardiola is, I have the game plan of head. I know what I'm doing. I have top class players who I can let them play any position that they that I want them to play. And at the end of the day, these players, because they are world class players and they know their business, they are going to what provide, they are going to what prove a point. They are going point, to yeah. they are going to make the team progress. The moment, the moment you take one player to be the top class and you give that player like um this so-called pampering, pampering yeah. or quality treatment then it becomes a problem when the player is no more there the team struggles a lot he has seen that over these years coaching different different teams and he do not want mm -hmm. this team to be the same because yeah. when the brand injured they struggled a bit yeah yes, yes, yes. yeah <laughs> but with time they adapted so he got this mentality that oh even Although we struggled a bit because we depended more on him, you see. Yeah. So now, if he's not performing, I don't care who he is. I will bench him and play other players. And it's true. Every player too is trying to prove, you see, in the training so that he can be selected to play the next game. And that is what Eddie was talking about. Um, winning in the mentality. comment section. Oh, yeah, yeah, the comment section, winning mentality. And this mentality goes to all the players as well as the uh, the coach um, as yeah. a whole. So he wouldn't entertain any player. If you want to go, you go. At the end of the day, he's not even the top class player in the team. So who yeah. cares? <laughs> <laughs> City, Pep Guardiola, main target currently is Champions League. And currently they are on top of the league table with eight. Don't you think... Like I'm, get, I'm sending you back to like the title, the Premier League title race. Don't you think if Champions League starts, they will have problems in the Premier League since their main focus is just to get Champions League because that's what City always dream of getting. Like they just want, they are desperate to get it. So when Champions League starts, don't you think they will have problems in the league and start dropping points? I think every team in the Champions League will have problem with their domestic or their local leagues that one is normal but one thing that 
Guardiola is doing that. I like very well. It's now he's rotating the players. He's so smart. Yeah, the guy is so smart. You wouldn't know. You wouldn't know the benefits of this. <laughs> and now he's benching the brand. He's benching big, big players, and he's rotating. Maybe it's a formality that he wants to use to enter the Champions League because going into this um, round of the Champions League. You are facing big opponents. You are facing top class teams, which is not going to be easy. You wouldn't just um, ride over them and you just qualify. It's not like that. So he rotating players will help him push players and also let some players rest so that they can play the EPL. But regardless of all these things, I know definitely it will affect them, but not that much because they wouldn't focus more on the Champions League, Champions League and, yeah. neglect, and neglect the EPL. Otherwise, they can lose boots. They can lose yeah. boots. <laughs> <laughs> and that would be terrible. <laughs> so, Pandi, your view about that? Uh, you know, um, he would try as much as possible to get a lot of points before the uh, Champions League will commence. And Champions League will start somewhere in February. And in January, we at least we will play about five matches. So he, if he's able to accumulate a lot of points, he can get the freedom to play the Champions League the way he wants to play it. He might not push in a lot of effort uh, in the league and then focus much on the Champions League. But as, as to what Paul said, um, is it, it will be very difficult to focus on one side. And if you don't get it, then the other one will be lost. 